Fintech Association of Nigeria, for the second year running, hosted the National Fintech Conference in Lagos. It brought together stakeholders in the fintech space in Nigeria and Africa. Understanding the wealth creation and capital mobilization role of the capital market, the Fintech Association of Nigeria visited the Nigeria Stock Exchange to perform the closing gong and strengthen its partnership with the exchange. We look at one of some of the most capitalized companies in this world. I mean, these are about 10, about 10, 10 most, about seven of them are in technology, Apple, Amazon, and so on. And we want to see in 10 years' time some fintech companies and some of the incumbents today being listed on this exchange deepening this market and attracting funds and so on that will be able to uplift this market. So we are here. I want to welcome the stockbroking community to the world of fintech. At the Nest Building, fintech players in Africa had an opportunity to share ideas on how to grow and develop the ecosystem in the continent. What we're coming out with here is to identify a few things that we want to showcase properly how to form a fintech organization for a country, how to foster collaboration, how the fact that there are smaller associations does not stop the fact that you can come together as a body. What are the advantages? What has been our experience? Where do we have challenges in case any other country has a solution on that? This is FinTech, so we can leverage technology to have a proper ideas board, a proper sharing board, and be able to reach people with what we are doing. We don't want to just be hearing about the negative things about Africa. We need to, there's a serious series of creativity, there's a series of very serious what has going on in Africa, and we can only uh, 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 tell our own story. And only by working together, by collaborating, by changing ideas, that we can do that. So that is the idea between the African FinTech and Africa. The opening and first full day session conference featured keynotes from the Minister of Information and Communication Technology and the representative of the Minister of Science and Technology and also featured quality panel sessions. We believe that with the existence of this association, we'll be able to bring coordination uh, to the FinTech ecosystem in Nigeria and fast start the development and adoption of, 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 of FinTech. Innovation and technology have played very significant role in determining economic growth since the beginning of the 21st century. And specifically, innovation has played a major role in determining the structure of social production. I once again welcome you all to this very important conference that I believe will change the fortune of this country for better through effective and efficient harnessing of innovation as business and to drive business for higher performance. The fintech sector is one of the most crowded tech sectors in Nigeria. Almost every commercial bank now has one fintech platform or the other that they are utilizing because they know that it is the catalyst to a bright and prosperous future. Given your overwhelming antecedents, as well as the pivotal role of the Minister of Communications to positioning Nigeria as an African innovation hub, I want to assure you of our support for her and cooperation with you at all times. In this respect, I hope my presence here today at your conference would assure you that we will always stand by you and would assure you that we are prepared to engage with you to stimulate a robust, practical, viable solutions and recommendations to further develop the ICT sector as we approach the fourth industrial revolution. I will request Patrick to fire the salvo. What is the digital uh, financial service marketplace like? First, when we look at it globally, there's about $6 trillion of income earned by people that are outside the financial system globally. Uh, this is information from a 2017 report of PricewaterhouseCoopers, PwC. If we come to Nigeria, 
the number in terms of people excluded from the financial system uh, varies from an FINA report at 41% to the latest report on digital financial services at 48%. If we add the underbanked, which is put at around 10%, uh, the size of the cake in terms of those that are yet to fully uh, participate in the financial system in Nigeria is closer to 60%. The ability of the traditional financial services organizations, which are quite static in terms of branches and co, uh, to reach huge numbers, and the, and the ability of our traditional methods of, if you like, uh, marketing campaigning to reach these huge numbers in a manner which they really want to relate to. Yeah, is very, very different. So now you're talking about leveraging technology at a scale and at a pace that we've never seen before, really. And here is where fintechs come in. Because fintechs, by nature of the way they think, by the fact that they don't carry huge legacy systems and costs, by the fact that technology has moved on and has enabled them, allows them to innovate very, very quickly and start offering compelling solutions at very, very low cost that can actually bridge the gap between those who can afford and those who can't afford. And that's how you bring this acceleration together. Financial inclusion is the foundation for financial health. You cannot talk about the financial health of an individual if she is invisible to the formal financial system. You cannot design a microinsurance product if there isn't a way to collect small premiums digitally through the digital payments. But I think it's time for us to start a serious conversation and start focusing our energies on financial health through higher engagement products. We eat, right? We transport, we pay for things. That is essentially the lifestyle we are trying to digitize. So for the policymaker, we want to be sure that the policies in place support usage of the platforms that the operators are putting in place. And the operators need to think about the value they're offering. If the service does not help me to buy food, it does not help me to transport, it does not help me to pay my medical bills, it does not help me to pay my school fees, and whatever other payment needs I have, then it stops being very relevant to my daily need. There are quite a number of areas that FinTech will be very useful in the capital market. But whoever wants to come to this area should first of all understand that what are the things that uh, the current capital market operators do? How do they apply technology? And to what extent are they applying the technology? Then after that, see, what are their future plans? I don't think um, fintechs represent a threat to the banking system either or. I think banks will see more of what they do and the way that banking is done will become more technology-based rather than the traditional banking halls, um, brick and mortar, where you have to walk into an institution. Um, banks that are not competitive in that environment then do stand a risk in the future. We have to start from the point of what is innovation. Yes. Innovation is the idea of saying that I need new things, I need a better solution, I want to change. And I think if you link this innovation to fintech, you have a good understanding of the fact that one of the key important role that fintech brings on board is user experience. Mm. User experience is a key activity in terms of the solution. And I think for, for, for us in Soft Alliance, one of the key areas that we are looking at is how can our customer enjoy the solution that we are providing for them. Do you know that in this country, the definition of intellectual property must be something that is physical, that it can be touched? Now, no matter how much we move with innovation, if we cannot change simple things like intellectual property rights laws, if we cannot change the model that allows investment banks to relate uh, with, the, with the ecosystem of tech businesses, it will be a pipe dream. Because when you build all these solutions, the most important factor in it, the most valuable, is your intellectual property rights. And we're still so far behind 
in that area. And that's why we say try and join, be a member of FinTech Association, and so we can fight and put ourselves in a position whereby we can get things done. Thank you very much, and good day. It ended with the FinTech Conference Awards Ceremony. For the second and final day, it was a continuation of quality discussions on the fintech industry. After a successful second national fintech conference, the Fintech Association of Nigeria held its annual general meeting to discuss key issues in the body. The second national fintech conference has come and gone, but the memories of the fact that for three days, stakeholders gathered to explore harnessing emergent trends in fintech will go into the footprint of the development of the digital economy of Nigeria and Africa.